Hello everyone and welcome to week three of our off-grid life journey here in Portugal. We are going slightly off tangent this week. It is going to be an interesting one mainly because we are still waiting for the multi-tool to be fixed so that's kind of scuppered our plans on continuing to clear um, brambles, bushes, trees etc. So we're moving on to other tasks, which is good. Got to keep moving. And this week is going to involve this here, the shed. So today's task is to clear out the shed. It's full of stuff and most of it's junk. So we need to clear it out. Also, as a bit of a backup, potentially, if we sell the caravan, we might be without somewhere to stay for a couple of weeks, potentially, maybe a bit longer. So we thought if we tidied it, clear it out completely, temporarily if we smarten it up we could worst case scenario stay in it <laughs> so we'll be going full on off grid potentially so yeah cleanup starts now i'll show you inside jump 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 Stuff, 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 stuff. Plenty of newspapers if we ever get bored. So yeah, it's not too bad. <clears throat> Just need to give it a, oh, hi. Um, a clear up. Um, but it's super watertight, which is good. There's a little gecko hiding there. A little one. That'll be number five so far we found in here. Um, Driss has also just found the skin of a snake that shed its skin. Oh! 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 <laughs> so there's definitely snakes and there's plenty of geckos. Having fun? No. It's <laughs> giving me the creep. <laughs> oh, Spiders on. galore. So why are we clearing out the shed? You might be asking. Well, there's a few good reasons for that. Number one, it's full of junk and that's got to be got rid of. So we We'll clear it out, make plenty of room for our own stuff. But secondly, and most importantly, it is going to be where we will be housing all of the water pumps, the water filtration systems, the UV system, and all of the solar connections, the batteries, and so on and so forth. So we need to get it sorted. It's pretty sound at the minute, but it needs the floor reconcrete, um, reconcreting and just made a little bit more soundproof um, and weatherproof, etc. So that's the challenge for this week. Wish us luck. Sledgehammer. Sledgehammer. This floor's going to need some work. Oh. All cleared.
Driss, what's the exciting news that happened for on Saturday? Oh, we've got a massive GCB digger coming in. And why are we so excited, Driss, about Nuno coming with his JCB? Because he's going to be doing the whole work. And it may, yeah, we're doing the hard work. Um, but it means we'll be able to get the caravan onto the land. Yeah, I'm very excited about that. I actually want to bring the caravan while he's doing the work so that as soon as it finishes, <laughs> hopefully it'll be finished by one, two o'clock. Um, we'll be set up by that three. means we can like just literally wait. <laughs> and, and because he's got that massive GCB, you can just literally take it, pull it, Put it in place the way we want it without us struggling with the van really or trying to push it by hand you know it's a two ton car maybe, van maybe. um and I, I i think that is the best move it'll be stressful but it'll be so exciting it is exciting it'll i can't wait we're gonna actually grid. be living here off, off grid. grid um which is super exciting it's going to open a whole can of worms in itself because we haven't got the water system sorted yet um we've got no, no solar fine. but we do have a generator so we'll be able to yeah. charge the batteries and have power and stuff but we have both been talking about it quite a lot the last week so yeah. haven't we? The, I, I we just want to be here i think we do that on saturday because once it's finished you can literally take the car and put it in place the way we want it and for me be almost like moving a little toy because True. of this gcb um and then then that means we're here like literally we are here and while he's doing the work we can finish some kind of preparation that we need here like having the generator maybe outside here i want to run some electrical cord from here to the top where the cavern's going to be so we don't have to hear the noise it's yeah. a quiet generator but it's nicer if you can't hear anything the, at all. yeah so there's and remote yeah. control as well oh it is remote control yeah, yeah. So, um so there, uh, going back to the shed, that's why there is a little bit of method in our madness um, because we need to get if the shed sorted. We can put the generator in there for now and then as we do the water system in the next yeah. week, couple of weeks, then it's ready to go basically. We don't want to kind of get going with the water system and then have to stop that installation because we've got to do no, the prep and, and So it's good to, to do the prep now. We need to make sure the, the shed is really sound so mm. that's why it has to be uh, re-cemented um, and, and obviously we have to make sure that the floor is properly labelled, uh, cement the floor, uh, the walls as well yeah. and I want to tile it. Just needs to be a bit tidied up, doesn't it? It's, yeah. it's pretty structurally sound, it's just got a few gaps here and there so. I mean, we're going to yeah. have like uh, filters, we're going to have two or three filters for the water mm -hmm plus a UV filter, just for kind of to be on the safe mm. side, you know, it kills all the bacteria and everything. And the batteries and, um, for the solar. That's the battery the... for the solar will be stored in there. Mm. So that's why we need to make sure that it's nice and sound. And and secure as well, because obviously that, secure. That, that all that kit costs a oh, lot money. of money. So it needs to be in a secure yeah. building and it's got a great door on it, which is very solidly locked. Yeah. Um, so Sorry, yeah, so it's good burning, in that so. respect. It's not, a, it's not a lipstick, it's a <laughs> sun protection. You sure it's not lipstick? Only on a Friday dress. <laughs> yeah. yeah, on a Friday. Well, um, well, we better crack on. Enough of all this chit chat. Let's get going. About to leave. This is quite a way to start the week for a Monday, but I'm enjoying it. Are you dress? Yeah, it's hardcore, but um... <laughs> literally hardcore. <laughs> Welcome to another day and beautiful sunshine. <laughs> We've been super busy this morning. We were up at the crack of dawn and we headed straight to the builders merchants and got ourselves a van load of stuff. Um oh. Got everything we need to do the concrete floor. So we've got the wood, the sand, the cement, the gravel, um, the iron rod stuff to put inside, um, the mixing trays, the smoother things, the whole shebang. And our new mate, Lukas, um, who's a really nice chap who works there, was amazingly helpful. Um, and he's even offered, bless him, to come and help us at the weekends when he's not working if we need an extra pair of hands which is super kind um gave us an amazing price of 
100 euros for the lot. So we're very pleased with that. Um, so now to crack on with it. Come on, Joseph, we got to crack on. Did you actually say the word crack on? <laughs> it's my favourite word. You've all probably noticed that I say crack on quite a lot. <laughs> Come on, stop sitting down. <laughs> Scott just said earlier, we got all the material, but now the fun part is we have to take it all out of the van. Or oh, Scott has to take it all out of the van and uh, off. <laughs> <laughs> and bring it so and heavy. bring it down. They are so heavy. Go on, boy. Come on. It's just a little bit left. That's when nothing. You just started. And how many kilos is that? Oh. Well, at least he loaded it for us. There's no hard. way we're gonna lift that. Go on. Feel like I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's easy just to walk it down the steps. I think so. Do you think? I just want to watch you struggling all the way. Go on, I do like it. It's gonna be more of a hassle. Try. No. no. Go on, push I'm it, boy. Just carry it. I feel like I'm drunk with this. I'm like a dangerous old woman driving. And also, the wheelbarrow feels like it's gonna break. <laughs> Now you might be wondering why they're struggling lifting and moving all of the stuff in the van. Well, the reason is, technically I can drive the, down, the van down here and can park it right next to the shed. However, the sloping entrance bit that is the current access point is extremely steep. It's only short, but it's very steep. Um, we did give it a try earlier and I ended up with one wheel off the floor um, and the van was kind of tilting like this <laughs> and drifts I had to whack it in reverse quickly the wheel that was touching the ground was wheel spinning and drifts had to basically push the van back so that I had two wheels on the floor that's um, why I'm so tired so that's why oh. we're lugging it from the top oh. terrace down to the mid terrace because we can't get the van down it I reckon I could without all the stuff in it but it's just so heavy. There's probably about a ton, ton and a half of stuff in the back of it. So, which we're moving by hand. Yeah. So just gonna do it by hand. Good for the <laughs> Let's muscles, do it. right? So we got all excited, thinking we were ready to check the leveling and start doing the cementing this afternoon. But we need to go dig down a good another inch and a half to two inches. So that's what we're doing. So we've had to dig down a bit further and we finally finished that. And we've just put our plastic sheeting down, which will suffice um, just to stop moisture coming out from the ground. Um, and next step is to put the gravel in. such a bummer I was so sure we had the right amount of gravel um, I'll show you what we've done uh, so I think we had about six bags of gravel and I was so sure that that was enough and unfortunately it wasn't 
Uh, I don't know if you can actually see, but there's some patches here and there, but also we need to level it a little bit more. Um, so yes, yeah, so Scott had to go um, and get some more. And um, we definitely have got enough sand, but because he was going there to get more gravel, I think he's getting about four more bags of um, of gravel just to make sure we have enough. I've asked him as well to grab another two bags of cement um, just to make sure that we have enough because I don't want to run out of cement while we're actually doing it. And it's not far, it's only about 15 minutes away. But it's such a pain because you're, you're in the move, you're in the groove and you're like, oh yes, it's going. And now we had to stop everything and Scott had to go and get some more gravel. But at least I've got a good 15, well, 30 minute rest which is good <laughs> had to do a second run to the hardware store because we needed more gravel and more cement um, so mission for today is complete we've dug out deeper we've put the lining down we've put the gravel on and tomorrow we'll be cementing so watch this space <laughs> exhausting random question probably just research this but what is the difference between cement and concrete or is cement the raw form and then when it's formed it becomes concrete <laughs> I'm, I'm really genuinely <laughs> asking <laughs> is that a really stupid thing to ask oh we have injury injuries injuries where's the accident booth uh in the van <laughs> I think inside every builder that does flooring, concrete flooring, is a secret hidden baker. Because with the lining underneath, it looks like a giant cake tray. <laughs> they my troubles to rest, blow the smoke through my cigarette. City lights looking fine, and I know this is my time now. Now, I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes, I just 
okay this is the moment of truth we're gonna see how the cement or the concrete slab has settled Scott needs to stuff some bread first I'm not feeling well today no I've got a bit of a bad stomach poor me so Scott's gonna rest today when I do the other jobs but Tommy. we want to have a look and see how the concrete has settled let's have a look you want to do the honors oh i don't know you don't, did you lock it oh uh, no i didn't oh gosh <laughs> oh, I can't oh, open is it locked <laughs> oh, no. oh, oh it's dry that's dry no i wouldn't chance it Scott. yeah that's dry Oh wow! Oh, not bad. Oh my god, it's actually dry. Shall I walk on it? What's that? Um, well, mm, shall I? Fuck it. Yeah, go shall for I? it. Go on there. You sure? <laughs> Just no, don't do that, you Wally. It's dry. It's concrete. It dry. Oh. oh damn! We could have got the self-leveling oh, thingy. No. Right, oh, we're going to get it. Right, going to get it. Yeah. Well, you're doing the outside. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, this is amazing. Yeah, I was super happy. Um, it's really it's taking good, my it? weight. So <laughs> <laughs> no, it's all right. I know it might not be much for some, but for us, it's a big, big milestone. We've actually made it. We did. It's a win. It's yeah. a win. It's a win. <laughs> so now, what I have to do today is to concrete all the wall. As you can see, it hasn't been done nicely, but I had to concrete all of that. Those, these lines weren't here before. No, mate, it's never before. Yeah, it's probably the humidity from outside. But this is great. And it's solid. And it was really cold here last night. It just went down to minus two overnight. Yeah. Well, and it's sort of, very warm now. This um, cement, it's, got, it's that thing, isn't it, where it heats itself up isn't it it's where the chemical reaction happens it heats itself up yeah that's, well, that's what the other so guy quick. was saying yeah. well that's brilliant because i was going to do the external side of the wall all around but actually today i'm gonna just crack on with the inside crack on crack on i'm gonna um put the hammer cup <laughs> <laughs> scott is not feeling well so um yeah we're gonna we're gonna set the hammock between those two trees today so that scott can have a little bit of a rest hmm. okay whoever tells you that it's easy to run the wall with cement not plaster cement they're lying absolute liar even the professional must find it really really hard i've done just that bit and I am sweating, my arms is aching, my wrist aching, it's painful. But it does look a million times better than it currently does. It's and it's hard. an internal wall for the services, it, so it's more than adequate. And it's just one wall, but it's going to be tired yeah, after that. I think you're doing a really good job. It's so hard. A few more bits of smoothing out and then it'll be right. <laughs> No, it's not terrible, but... It's terrible. It's not. It's well, not semi. Can see crap but, to Yeah, but look at what it's like before. Well, good it, practice. Yeah. Very good practice. So I'll show you how you do that. In case you want to try and attempt it at home. And I'll suggest you don't. I'll suggest you get someone to do it. <laughs> because it's really hard you literally oh god drop it all on the floor i know <laughs> putting too much on it's like and you splash it as much as you can and hope for the best when you come back tomorrow <laughs> i'm losing touch of who i am when you're far away and i feel like i'm running circles around you mm. and I know I've been acting strange for a while but I want you close
So we didn't quite get everything done that we wanted to this week. We've still got three walls to render on the inside of the shed and a little bit of finishing off to do on the first one, which was the practice. We did, however, get the concrete flooring done and we're super happy with how that's come out. So we'll keep you guys updated on how we get on over the coming days. Thanks as always for watching. We really appreciate you being here with us on our off-grid journey. Don't forget to tune in next week where we will be showing you what happens with the JCB and us hopefully moving finally off grid onto the land. If you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. Leave us a comment, give us a thumbs up and we'll see you next week. But I want you close.